I'm out here at a park this morning in Salt Lake City and I've set up my portable EME or moon bounce station, Earth, Moon, Earth communication system. And it, it, there's a lot to it. Here's the dish. There's the feed horn up there. And the coax goes back over here to the radio system. I've got a um, high powered inverter right here, to propane powered. The water coolant system for the high powered amplifier, which is sitting below there. The intermediate stages are right here. This is the medium power amplifier. This is the transverter for a two meter radio system. And this is a backup SDR plate. The generator powers the uh, it feeds 120 volts at a high current. And this is the step up transformers for 240 volts. So that German amplifier is putting out 1,200 watts, 1,200 watts at 1.296 gigahertz at microwave frequencies. And this ICOM 705 is the two meter transceiver for the uplink. And I'm using the SDR play here to receive, um, for, for receive. And <laughs> there's, so, <laughs> At 1200 watts, 1.296 gigahertz, this dish has a gain of roughly 28 dB. So if you do the numbers, the numbers don't lie. So at 28 decibels of, of focusing gain, effective radiated power out of this dish, the with 1200 watts put into it, the focused power is a little over 750,000 watts pointed at the moon. This here's the here's the feed horn right here. I made that QSD article in 1972 August. Now there's a lot of power here. 1200 to generate 1200 watts at 1.296 gigahertz takes a lot of power. So here I've got. Uh, You can, use more, you can use Morse code voice or digital when you're bouncing signals off the moon. So I'll demonstrate CW or Morse code off the moon using this system. And you can hear the lag in the generator every time that, that Morse code key goes. You know, you can hear it drag down the system. So I'll just show you there. I've got a pre programmed message. side tone. You can hear that thing really kicking. And there's a signal going up right there. Now this is my first shot at EME, so my aiming system is a little off. I've been using this in digital inclinometer right here. And uh, the system I had planned for using the uh, elevation adjust didn't work out as planned, so I'm just kind of cobbling together a rope and a stick right here. So, um, anyway, I'll do better the next time. But yeah, there it is. KA1TDQ73s, John from Salt Lake City, Utah.